I mean, there were some probably like original bullets that weighed about this much. You Maybe know, you could call up Gareth Dyer, see if he'll come. Gareth, <laughs> let's go. Let's shred, man. I'm ready. Do it for superheroes. Yes. It wasn't too long ago that Santa Cruz introduced its first e-bike. Well, now they've brought back round two. The first one was the heckler. This one is the bullet. You know what rhymes with bullet? Mullet. Guess what this bike is? Yeah, 29. 27.5. And what do mullets do? They party. And nothing says party like a coil shock and double down tires. I'm thinking you already know what this bike is up to. How about 170 mils of travel front and back? All the models, 38 mil stanchions. On the other side of that door is Sean Grizz McClendon. He was part of our e-bike test this spring and his favorite bike was the Heckler. We're gonna see what he makes of the new bullet. Now he has no idea what we have for him, just that it's an e-bike. Should we show him the bike? Look over here, look over here! Oh! What up, playboy? <laughs> all right, all right. Santa Cruz round two, you ready? I, yeah, where's Petey? Let's go, <laughs> let's go. Meet the bullet, dude. Oh man. Okay, yeah. Um, so should I go now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. Well, uh, do you notice anything? Do you notice anything about the bike? Anything well, stand out to you? Yeah, I mean, I noticed what I like wanted with the Heckler that we tested a few months ago. Got What's a, that? A wagon wheel in the front. Okay. Which is, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to this coil shot. Is this the new motor? Is it this is. This is the new Shimano EP8 motor. Oh, so I should be able to get some like get up hills a little bit better, right? Yeah. Okay. So so it's six tenths of a pound lighter on the motor. All right, okay. so you're saving some weight there. And the battery is 630 watt hours. The Heckler was more like five something. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, so bigger battery, lighter, more efficient motor. So yeah. yes. All right. Well, what's that way? Um, 45? All right, dude. Remember, um, nice curve of the spine and lift oh. in a jerking motion. Yeah. Ooh. What does it say? <laughs> 50 and some change. 50 and change? <laughs> 50 and change? Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, she let's see what this Shimano work. <laughs> let's see this Shimano go to work. <laughs> yeah, no. That I is mean, deceptive. That does not feel, it, you know what? This is like a bullet with monster tees. While we get Grizz dialed up on this bike, we'll dig into the specs and what other bikes are in the lineup. The Santa Cruz Bullet is back. Well, at least the name is. The new Bullet is an e-bike. It's available in sizes medium to double extra large. Three of the four build configurations feature Shimano's new EP8 motor with 85 newton meters of torque and are powered by a 630 watt hour battery. On the suspension side, 170 millimeters of travel for the front and the back. The bullet is coil shock compatible, and that is an option on all of the build kits. The bullet is set up as what Santa Cruz dubs their MX, that is 29 inch front wheel with a 27.5 inch rear wheel. Our size large test bike came in with a 475 millimeter reach, 64 degree head angle, 449 millimeter chain stay, and a 77.1 degree seat tube angle. The total wheelbase came in at 1268. Our large was also the X01 reserve build, which starts things off as the top build from Santa Cruz. We have a RockShox Super Deluxe Ultimate, and ours came with the coil option. The fork is a Fox Factory 38. Our build also featured Santa Cruz's reserve carbon wheels. The final price tag, 11,499 US. Next, you have the XT build with the drivetrain being handled by, yep, a 12-speed Shimano drivetrain. Price tag, $94.99 US. Stepping down from that, you have the S build, which features SRAM's GX 12-speed drivetrain. You have a Super Deluxe Select Plus rear shock and a Fox 38 Performance fork. Price tag, $88.99 US. Kicking things off is the R build, which features a Super Deluxe Select rear shock a RockShox Zeb fork, NX Eagle drivetrain, and Shimano's E7000 motor. 
Final price tag, $74.99. You said what on price? $13.5. You said $13.5. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, she's a value. It's gonna be a bargain for you. Uh, $11,499. All right, all right. Yeah. So I was so. off on, I was under on weight, over on price. Okay, well, well uh, how about this? How about you take it out on the trail and tell us if you think it's still worth that? Okay. <laughs> Beat it, pal. See you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, you about to eat shit. So as you guys probably remember, if you checked out the e-bike shootout we did earlier this year, my favorite bike was the Heckler and everything I wanted improved upon or changed with the Heckler, it, it's, it exists here in this bullet. So the 29 inch front wheel, it's fantastic. I, it, when, when cornering, um, first and foremost, this is the easiest bike I've ever ridden, like across the board, it's super easy, but cornering really, really stood out because it just, the front wheel just gripped and all you had to do was press your inside grip, weight your outside foot, look ahead and just, you could get really lazy, which uh, I found myself like actually having to like stay really focused because this bike is so easy. You can, you can just sit down pretty much and it just, it just does so much work for you. I did get to go through some rock gardens uh, on like some off-road trails, which were pretty brutal, honestly. And again, like this bike was just straight as an arrow, blitzed right through all the chunder. Um, one thing I really, really noticed, this is the most planted bike I've ever ridden. I mean, mountain bikes from downhill bikes to trail bikes, like they have a little bit of twitch to them, you know, they'll kind of flicker around once you get up to speed and, and start smashing through rocks. This bike doesn't twitch at all. It is, it is a, it's a rail. Like it's, it's the most secure feeling planted bike I've, I've ever thrown a leg over. It's been, yeah, true, true pleasure to, to, to ride this thing. The new Shimano motor, wow, they, uh, they, they definitely did some, make some, some serious improvements. So I think the first thing that really jumps out on me is it's, it's quiet. Like, like the old school Shimano motor, it, it kind of has this hum like him to it. And this thing is just silent. I did download the Shimano app and I made just a couple of adjustments on the eco mode and the boost mode. I left trail like stock settings. That felt pretty good to me just cruising around the neighborhood. So I just adjusted the assist character um, up one from eco, but like still not very far from powerful. Um, and just made like the assist start quick across the board, which I think they were all, um, that way. And then with the boost mode, I just made the assist character. I bumped that up a couple notches, max torque, assist start max quick. And, uh, really loved how, how the motor felt. Um, the engagement feels this very similar to, to the, to the original Shimano motor. You know, there's about a half second delay or so. Um, when you're getting off the pedals. The other like noticeable similarity with the Shimano motors is like the, the higher your cadence, the more the, the motor rewards you. So I, I often find myself in like a really, really like, like in first gear a lot of the time, just spinning it, uh, it feels ridiculous, but you, you actually can get up anything like the faster your, your cadence is. But you know, that being said, something, uh, something I had an issue with uh, on, the, on the Heckler was I felt like I was driving into turns quite a bit. And, and which led me to over braking. Well, with the added contact patch of the 29 inch front wheel, the massive 220 front rotor and uh, the 200 rear, this thing has ample braking power. So I didn't really feel like I was driving so much into the corners. So who is this bike for? Well, I think, you know, anybody who's trying to ride these things really, really aggressively, the travel, it just, I don't think I really had any feeling of bottoming out. Um, you can ride this thing as aggressive as you want. Um, another another rider I could see would be like the, the baby boomer aged rider who wants all the security they can get in a bike and you're still gonna be able to pedal this thing uphill. Like I didn't feel, I'm not the strongest climber in the world, but I felt no climbing penalty. So I, I could see a person like my father actually thoroughly enjoying himself. So I really feel like this bike will, will be you know, kind of everybody's, it's welcome to everybody, but like people who are really looking to, to rip and, and, and like ride these things hard or are looking to feel as safe as possible, which is kind of an interesting spectrum. 
So if there was anything I could change on this bike, I would, I would probably just try to trim it down maybe a couple of pounds to really, really get nitty gritty nitpick. Um, maybe I would, because this is just, I'm, I'm, I'm like a particular guy with this, but I would like to try maybe a paired RockShox Zeb with the RockShox Super Deluxe or even vice versa run, you know, like a Fox coil shock pairing. I just like to pair my suspension brands. Um, oh, definitely one thing I would change and no disrespect because the WTV makes great saddles, but I would absolutely swap the saddle out for something wider, a little bit softer. And then I would change out the grips. I love the, 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 the pattern of the grip, but it was just a little thin for my liking. So for you riders that appreciate thin grips, you're, you're probably gonna love them. For me, I like a, a, something a little thicker. Um, so that, yeah, that's it. Other than that, this bike is, Sweet.